Hi Satch, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your mid-month cartomancy reading. That's reading the regular playing cards. And I'm throwing the Anna K Tarot in there too. That's what these are here. But first I'm going to smudge myself and the cards and clear all the energy. You know, let's get some good energy in there so smudge my hair my memories smudge my mind my eyes to see the truth my ears to hear the truth my mouth to speak the truth my heart to know the truth and then I just like to clear myself off a little bit, clear any trauma areas. Ooh, I might have to relight this because we're getting real low. Can I get this going? Can I get it going with the cards? Look at that. <laughs> Magic. Oops. I just did some high priestess stuff right there right there yeah okay get my glasses Woo -hoo -hoo. smells good I'll put that aside so saggy um i don't know if you notice but uh the energy is a little different for this new moon and seems like people are under a lot of stress right now there's a lot of decisions needing to be made somehow i'm coasting okay through this new moon which is awesome because sometimes i have trouble at that time myself so let's get your energy in there sag <sighs> sagittarius my pudding darling Angels, hmm. Sag, March 15th to April 15th, 2021, Sagittarius. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. You know, and we have to remember, we've just entered the year of the ox, right? And that ox is like, just, you know, it pushes it. It doesn't ram because the ox are usually the strength that's pulling something. And it pulls a lot, you know, a little ways. That's what they use them for. They don't use them. Well, they do. I, I guess there's farm ox, right? They use those in the field. I'm not much of a farmer, so don't don't think I know what I'm talking <sighs> Darn it. <laughs> Ten of Swords. What a welcome card, gotta say. This is um this could have happened already. This is you know, underlying energy probably. I like the message in this Anna K tarot, this Ten of Swords, because this person is up and they're walking away. They're wounded still. You know, there's some, they're still losing a little blood from this, but they're not laying there taking it anymore. Had it. And it doesn't have to be a big dramatic event. It's you walking away. You're not making it big drama. You're just like, I'm done with this. And, and you're, heading into um dealing with it in a different way you know maybe you're tired of making bold statements and and stuff like that and you're deciding to withdraw your your um i don't know something like that anyway so i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut we're gonna get the right cards for you today okay all right, we're going to put that one right in the center. So we've got 
Ace of Swords. There's the truth, right? Coming out. Seven of Rods. The High Priest, which is the Hierophant. Ace of Pentacles, two Aces. The Hanged Man. <clears throat> and the World. See, that's where the change is happening. You're stepping through uh, that threshold, right? That, you know, you, you, there's some sort, there's something you've completed here. It's, pr it could have been something painful, something really difficult, you know. Maybe you didn't make a lot of progress in other areas, perhaps in your career or where you were living or your relationships because you were dealing with this you know whatever that is for you so the nice thing is it's over you know you're still there's still some wounds there but you're healing you're able to heal now because you're walking away and we need one for the surprise okay so let's put these ones up there and we're going to take out my beautiful horse ones I still have the winter horses out because we're not in spring yet. I know we're going to be, but I'm going to bring them out next time. One more month with these babies. So, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Gonna be looking out for those strawberries, you know, soon, April, May, depending on where you are, really. Tell me for Sagittarius, what's going on? March 15th to April 15th, 2021. Tell me for Sagittarius. Three of Clubs. This is hard work and perseverance. So putting to, start, starting to focus on a particular thing and putting energy in. This is something you've already thought of before. You know, you've been thinking about it. You've been considering it, thinking about what you might need to do it, how, where. Um, but this is now because I, you know, there's been a lot of talk or, um, but not any action. So now you're, you're going to start putting action into this, working on it, actual time into it. You know, you might even slot time in your day and your calendar to that. You know, and every morning I'm going to do it or whatever. I don't know what it is, but it's, you know, it's more regimented in the three of clubs. You know, you, it's a decision to proceed. Same with the ten of swords. That's also a decision to proceed, you know, both of these. So, um... Hmm. All right, so let's cut these cards. Dun, boo, doo, doo, boo, boo. So as you can see, well, you can't completely see. Let me push you back a little bit. I have seven piles here, okay? And I put three of these cards in each pile, but I go around three times. And I lay them out face down. I always have, just the way I was taught, and that's the way I was. I do it. That's the way we do it around here. Do -do -do. <clears throat> all right. So we got them all. So in your present energy, this first pile here, you have the Ace of Swords. So this is some sort of um. You know, the Ace of Swords usually is a communication, some a truth. You're going to hear a truth uh, come to you. Um, I think that it could be about someone you know. It could be about an older man. 
He doesn't have to be half a century older than you, but he is older than you. Um, the, this person could have green eyes, gray eyes, or really pale blue, um, but he is represented as the older man, typically. Could have gray, uh, white, or even platinum hair. So this person, I think, is going to come forward and want to communicate with you. I think they, they have something to tell you. I think they this is, um, there could be some sort of illness or health issue. And there, there even could be, you know, because this is a, a proposal of some sort. Of, of feelings right of love of emotion you know they're speaking and they're and they're wanting to begin something new however there's they could be also um, talking about their pain this could be physical pain it could be heartache pain from and it looks like it could be heartache you know they they're they're heartbroken or they're 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 suffering from some sort of heartache and <laughs> they might be telling you this okay this person also could have heart issues you know and and have you know be uh, uh, their health isn't good for a while it's not a death sentence don't take it that way but they could get word that there's heart trouble or they're, they're having issues with their heart, okay? And may have to start putting work and time into that, you know? that's Those are big changes you got to make to your lifestyle. But I'm telling you, I think it's someone telling you they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken and they're being honest with you, okay? So this is what's coming in this is around you right now if it's going to be in the next day or two like it's really soon might be this weekend we're in you know today tomorrow not long because it's the here and now kind of energy so <laughs> you know, it could be getting a call or an email or a knock on the door you know this almost looks like a knock on the door to me Right? Wouldn't that be crazy if someone knocked on the door? <laughs> All right. So coming in, you have the Seven of Rods. And, you know, you see these two guys, and they're standing at this border, right? On one side, it's that guy's property, and he controls it and rules it. And on this side, it's this guy's property. And they're both saying... You are not crossing my line. You know, meanwhile, if they both just drop their things, they could talk. And because there's something about also whose responsibility is it to fix the hole in the fence? Well, hey, you're not fixing that hole right here. <laughs> it's just like dispute. It's arguing. And you can't agree on you know disagreeing really you know you can't you can't see something and um it's very defensive and defending your honor your boundary your it's it's and you're not attacking you're just saying you are not coming through here no you're not you know um not in that way you're not coming through my door in that way. So you better change your attitude. You know, that's that's making, that's setting a boundary. You know what I mean? But it, it sometimes takes that stance where you're like, you know, like I said, you're saying no more. No more. I'm not putting up with this. You're not, no. I'm not... Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like it's some sort of treatment, some sort of treatment. 
and um, you could be misunderstood in some way. You know, they. I think that you might have tried to communicate or perhaps learn yourself, but I don't. I don't think people are seeing you in the right way. But anyway, you're you're focused on um, change for sure, but also you're not standing for it anymore. Now, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just not going to listen to you either. Um, now you have that with the Jack of Hearts, the King of Hearts, and the Seven of Clubs. You know, I think that this person is expecting to get this kind of energy when they come around, okay? Or you do. This is what you're expecting. You're thinking, oh, I just am worried that it's going to be a big fight. It's going to be, you know, I'm going to have to defend myself all the time. And, and, and I think that's what you're thinking this is going to be because, again, this is... A romantic offer this person they definitely have good intentions they they um I think they love you and you might love them too but there's something that worries you about them and I think it's some sort of aggressive nature uh, some sort of um, uh, uh, you might feel like you have to stand up for yourself all the time. And you don't want to do that. You know, you want it to be um, easier. Easier, perhaps. That could be some of the feistiness, though. I'm not saying having to put up with bull from anybody is any good. Because it's not. It's bad energy. And it doesn't, you know, you're thinking... Oh, I was imagining this so much nicer, you know. <laughs> so, you know, either one of you, one of you is think is expecting to get this wall, this boundary here, when they propose this idea of. You know, what do you think about you and I? Their feelings. This, you know, they they think you're going to be like, um, or you do this. It's it's always going to be an argument. <laughs> uh, above you, this is you know, this has two meanings it's on your mind, but it's also um, in the immediate present. It's it's. Um, you know, a, a lot of times we manifest what's coming. And this is kind of that position, you know, what we're manifesting, what we're thinking about. Um, so, you know, this is, <laughs> you're upset. The seven of spades, the two of hearts, and the four of spades. I think you're upset and confused, a little bit mixed up. You're torn apart. There is a possible, really passionate union here, possibility. But um, I got to tell you, I think this person or the situation is here to teach you something at the very least, okay? Because that's what that high priestess is about. And maybe that's what you're thinking. What am I supposed to be learning by this? You know, I think this person um, can, I think they come across harsh in their love and their passion it's it's um there's something upset upsetting about it um and you could have tears because you're confused but i gotta tell you on a deeper level i think there's something here for you to learn about yourself you know why is 
this confusing you? Why is this upsetting you so much? So there's there could be triggers there is what I'm thinking. You know, there could be triggers there. Um, the other idea is this person actually could be proposing marriage, some sort of union. Because that two of hearts is a relationship, right? Um, and they could be proposing in your thinking about it. You know, I think on one side you could be crying, like um, it could be happy tears, but really confused, not knowing what to do, unsure because of this energy over here, you know, this... Um, you know, there's some, there's some walls or something here in between us, okay? Maybe they feel they, they're exactly the same as you. You know, they try and get through to you and you have a wall. And you're thinking, I try and get through. I did, you know, try and say anything to them. I have a wall. Like, it feels like you guys are the same on each side of this, you know. You're kind of making the same point. But neither one is hearing or they're putting too much into what you're saying or you are you know what I mean and that's it's that kind of thing so it's creating some worry some doubt um because you somebody could be pro be proposing honestly these two aces here this new beginning a truth about love um, again, um, someone's expressing their love and it could be coming out harsh or something is what I'm thinking. It could be coming out harsh or something. And that's what has you worried. You're like, you know, kind of like that. Um, and you're thinking about it. I'm going to tell you, you're thinking about it. You have your doubts though. You're really unsure. So, this energy over here is about your career, your ambitions, your creative energy, you know. Um, and first of all, you have the Ace of Pentacles, another Ace. You know, you got a lot of doors opening, a lot of potential, probably a lot of offers, Sagittarius. It looks like um, in love, um, you know, and... You're, I, I think that you're learning something here. When you learn the truth, you know, you're learning something here. Uh, it might open. I turn some light bulbs on in a way, eh? So the Ace of Pentacles, this is, um, um, you know, like I said, a new energy to invest yourself, your finances. You could be offered a job that has a lot of potential you know here um something to grow for sure and um i think you feel really good with this you feel confident um and i like it after this ten of swords a lot because it's a healing energy eh? it's a healing energy you're not really given a darn what anyone thinks you know you're having fun and they're dirt and planting your seeds and thinking about the future what you're going to grow here you know you're really excited about what you're doing now to you know what the, this new creative project and i know you love a creative project as you know i know I know. So this is very exciting. I think you're somehow pleased with yourself too when you get, when you uh, start, you know, putting your energy in here, right? Eh? This, this three of, uh, uh, the three of clubs. And also I kind of feel like this could have been a challenge for a while for, like I said, it's been in your mind for a while. You've been thinking about it and and the hows and the you know where and all that but it's it's perhaps been a challenge to get going because you were still here in this in this you know 
at the at when we get to the ten, it's like why are you still laying there, taking this? You know, you know, it's there's another one coming. You know, so it's it's kind of like that. So it's your challenge to um, start getting this moving now, and I can see that it's going to happen over here. Okay, could be around the first of the month, around April. Uh, you know, because that's when we start to see the life coming out of the ground. You know, those first little uh, seedlings. You have the Eight of Hearts, the Six of Diamonds, and the Two of Diamonds. So there is a business meeting right there. All right. And this is about taking steps in business. This is a good financial offer. It's something to do with you talking. Talking. Um, like they're talking a sweet deal with you. I'm going to tell you. Or, you know. This is a sweet deal. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> this is nice. Uh, I think they're impressed with you. Um, they can see it growing. They can see they can see money being made. Okay, the potential, right? Uh, yeah. Wow. Sweet deal. There's my name. So this is how others are seeing you or influencing you in the situation. And you have the hanged man. Um, you know what I see here? I, I think there's something you see that others don't get. They, like I said, like I said, I think you're misunderstood is, is, is what is going on here and um it, it's people um around you but you know you you have a vision or you can see something that they can't see they they they're like eh, you know they don't really see the vision so it's it's they can't see your perception where you're coming from okay in some ways um and uh, you know you could be trying to get them to see your perception or have been trying to get them to see your perception all right for a while um they also could have thought that you're lost in some way you're um, like I said, you, you haven't made a lot of progress in other things in life because you've been going through something kind of hanging here for a while. And um, But anyway, help is on the way. <laughs> well, also, they also see you progressing. They see you progressing. Um, I, 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 you could be, um, th any one of these people, I want to say, but I have a feeling you're this queen of diamonds or there's a queen of diamonds around you that, um, could change your perception is what I'm thinking. She could change your perception somehow. Um, cause the six of clubs, six of hearts both of these you know one the, the first it could be travel travel for work travel for pleasure uh vacation um and it also could be special interest of some sort some sort of special interest uh but these are enjoyable trips they could be short trips like or, and they're also taking steps. There's some sort of uh, pleasure in what you do, okay? Um, and, you know, that could be the perception she's changing in you. you. You know, you could, you might not be taking any pleasure in what you do right now, you know? And, and so she could help you see 
might be helping you see that in some way. But I see you, if you're not this lady yourself, so she is older, she is, you know, older than 50 for sure. Um, she could have green, gray, or really pale blue eyes. Um, she probably has gray hair or white hair. But I think she's full of life and um, smart and um, hmm. she works on her happiness is what I see. Okay. And I think she's helping you see that in that way you know that's why we bring people around us isn't it to help us see that perception that they see because you meet them and you hear them talking you're like really wow hmm never thought about it that way and then after a little more around them you can start to see it in that way and you might start to embrace that very idea yourself and we bring people into our lives or or um, to learn those things that we want to become that we want to overcome you know we see that person doing it we're like how are they doing that I want to do that <laughs> so we observe them we listen right and I think that's what's going on here in your foundation you have the world and like I said this is you've completed some sort of cycle obviously in the 10 um, and and I'm going back to this hierophant that's you know because here's this line right I concentrate on this line a lot it's the center energy of what you're going through and I like I said I feel like there's something that you need to needed to learn here um I think it has to do with relationships um You know, when we think of the Hierophant, we think of the priest or the person who has developed a level of spirituality that, you know, they can overcome a lot just by knowing things in any way. And it's like you um, are reaching that level now. Um, I'm not even saying clearly what I want to say. I'll get there. So the world. And you certainly can tell that you're starting a new chapter with three aces already. Okay. This is accompanied by the five of hearts, the two of spades, and the eight of spades. Um, I feel like there could be separation happening between you and a friend. All right. There could have been something said and it didn't have to be an argument. It could have been just, and it could have been more than once, like different things at different times. And it's, um, it feels Hey, Melly Poo. Um, I just see a separation happening, a friendship breaking up is what I think. Okay. It's gone through its cycle. It's, um, there's something possibly changing in you. Uh, th th and, and like you could have words. Okay. If you haven't, and, 
Or there could be like this undertone. I feel like there's this undertone. And there, you know, you could really feel this. Something's not right. Something's not the same, you know. Something like that, all right. So, anyway, I, I, I hopefully you don't have, you know, a, a big fight. Like, you know like blah 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 I don't think so I get the feeling that it's just you could kind of tell the way things have been going the way they've been talking this undertone going on that something's different and there could be a parting of the ways all right your surprise pile um you know Four of Swords. This is kind of like consoling. It's it's um this lady knows she's very sick. Very, very sick. And 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 she so she knows the truth here, you know. Um oh yeah, it the other sorts they're all surrounding here so and so she, what she needs is rest just total rest take a break could be some sort of exhaustion there could be uh, some hurt that you need to and it could be with the separation here you know this this um, the separation from a friend or someone you cared about I don't think it was sexual but it was someone you cared about and so anyway um, so you could could be resting or just healing from something that hurt you you could actually have something that takes you down physically you know like a bad leg a bad foot um, where you're forced to take a rest, you're forced to take a break and re, um, you know, what do they call that? Recoup, not recoup, but regather your, uh, your thoughts and regroup, regroup. That's the word. Look at that for clubs. So, four of clubs, three of hearts, queen of hearts. So, it's kind of uh, interesting that you've got the king and queen of diamonds, king and queen of hearts. you got two couples here, okay? There could be a mature couple or just more mature people around you. I see... Uh, one is, um, um, it could be, you know, an estranged relationship with a, a, a father figure or um, a parent figure. Um, or this could be just someone that's older that is, you know, really heartbroken. But I think they're in love, you know. But anyway, over here, you have this Queen of Hearts now. And <laughs> um, the Queen of Hearts could be a, a blue-eyed woman. Sometimes she's fair-skinned, fair hair. Uh, she's usually very good-looking. Um, she is, but she's tender-hearted too. She's a nurturing kind of person, um, helpful. If she can, she'll help you. You know. Um, so a good friend, and so you may. Um, I I can kind of see that you may be helping someone here. You, they could uh, have a fall, or they could. You know, something like that could ha happen and, and you're helping them or someone's helping you, you know. Uh, all the focus is on this person. I get the feeling, I think it's the Queen of Hearts has some sort of, I think someone's having a fall. 
is what I think. And they're laid up. They can't do what they have to do. They can't, you know, get the stuff ready for the kids. Or it could have something to do with a home, too. You could be helping them in their home um, or something to do with a home is what I'm thinking here. But, yeah, there's somehow they could have some sort of an injury. They get sick and they need help. So um, I get the idea that you're helping them. Um, it, it could be them helping you, but the thing is, is that you probably have someone in your mind who you think it is, and it's it's the this is the surprise pile. So I think who it might be might be the surprise. It's not who you're thinking. Um, um, but anyway. <laughs> So, very interesting, sad. Um, you know what, another thing I'm thinking here too is um, what comes around goes around, all right? And in a good ways and in bad ways. So, um, anything bad that has been, been, you know, people have been putting out, the, that will that will karma will take care of them you know you don't have to worry about it like managing it or anything you can let go of that and the you know that kind of scratching other people helping other people will also come back to you in kind where they'll help you when you're when you need it when you're laid up you help them when they're laid up um i i, I get the feel this could be a friend um it's it's very focused energy like you're really really helping this person like a could be a lot of care all right um So we have quite a few meetings here, you know, I see a few meetings here. You've got some decisions to make here that you have doubt about this um, match here. This consider it something you're going to need to consider, you know. I think you're really flattered, but you're also like, I'm not sure about this, man, you know. Um, um, <laughs> and, you know, this could be this person, too, trying to change your perspective. I think it's a woman, tell you the truth, I think it's a woman, but, yeah. And it's kind of neat that you have these two couples match, this elder, older couple, and then these two people that really actually care about each other they do um uh, i think if something did happen it you <laughs> um i don't know it, you could uh, anyway someone i think you you're taking care of someone or helping someone that uh, has a fall okay some sort of a fall that's what i really think so, Sagittarius, let me know in the comments. This ad-free video is brought to you by Aries this month. It's their birthday time and their time to send in their annual $25 contribution and to show me you care because I care about you. And um, I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot. And, of course, you can like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all that, too. I really love your comments. Um, this, this last set of readings, I didn't really have time to respond to a lot of the comments, and I like to, you know. So I apologize for that, but, oh, man, all that moving again just did me in. I'm getting too old for this, you know. But anyway, kisses and hugs. Talk to you soon. Bye now.